Hello, my name is Damie Lou and I made this video not too long ago. It's only simple. It's only simple. If you haven't seen that video, please go check it out. It's an original song that I wrote. I just really enjoy performing it live. I thought it was about time that I update you all on my loop station setup. Um, I made a video ages ago and it is very outdated. <laughs> Welcome to some awesome stop motion video. This is my RC505 loop station. It comes with a cable to power it. We also have an SM58 microphone. It's so fancy, haha. -ha. Comes with a clip and then I just use an XLR cable to plug that into my station. This is an expression pedal, not usually needed, but I really like it. I also have an electric guitar, MacBook just to record my session. I usually use Logic or you can use GarageBand. Here is a guitar stand. Uh, we also have a really big microphone stand, which I really like. Um, hello. And then this is my keyboard stand that I don't use for a keyboard. I use it for a loop station. Um, so basically I kind of move my station to the right hand side of me and then I put my guitar on my left and then I kind of position the microphone behind the loop station. So this is where all the plugs go. Basically, this is the back of the loop station. First thing I usually plug in is my microphone. So my XLR cable will go into the XLR socket. Um, and then I will also grab my guitar or any instrument. You can put any instrument in there uh, into the mono. Um, I put my expression pedal on the control one, two pedal, and that just allows me to, um, start recording track one and two without having to touch track one and two on the station. Um, that cable is just for the USB that plugs into the computer. And then last but not least is the power adapter, obviously. Because we are going to be recording a live session using the USB to a computer, I'm actually not gonna be using the phone jack. If you are just practicing with your RC505, just grab yourself a phone jack and then shove it in. It's right next to the expression pedal. Um, and then you can listen to your loops directly from the station. Here I am just hooking up my microphone. You can put this like wad of wire on the floor. I kind of just like to leave it hanging there. Grab my guitar cable and basically put this cable kind of behind me so it's out of the way when I'm playing. So the next thing I do is plug in my foot switch. I use the TRS cable and I shove that into the middle of the pedal. Like I said before, this isn't a necessary kind of thing. I just really like it coming from a pedal perspective. There's a couple of things you need to set up on your RC505 so that it can talk to it. Um, I might make a separate video for that, but once it's all plugged in into power, you can turn it on, it comes up with all these pretty lights. So to record the audio directly from your station to your laptop, you're gonna install one of these drivers that Roland has so nicely put on their website. Um, I'll leave a link down below, but yeah, just grab any of those drivers that suits your computer. And basically you're going to install it and then open up any door. I use Logic Pro and I basically have these settings on. Um, I do plug in my headphones into the computer so I can hear what's going on on the loop station and then yeah, that's pretty much how I record the audio from my RC505. This is what it looks like when I'm performing or filming a video. And this is basically what it looks like from the side point of view uh, to anybody who comes into the room and is like, what are you doing? And I'm like, I'm filming a video, what's good? I hope this video is helpful for some people who are interested in live looping or if you have one and you're just interested in what I do. If you're an audio person and you think I could be doing something differently and it could be better, let me know in the comments. I'm super keen, super interested to hear different opinions and different uh, suggestions on how I can create cool stuff. 